Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel today, and we're back for another Walking Dead video. And today, we have done it, my friends. I asked a couple months ago, I made a video discussing cut content season one, and we ended up hitting 300 likes. We have 300 like, 301 likes currently on the video. So now I'm back, and today, thanks to you 300 likes, we're going to be doing part two of our cut content. We're going through episode four, episode five, as well as 400 days. If you guys do enjoy this video, please make sure you like and subscribe if you are new. And if we do hit 300 likes on this video, I will do a season two cut content walkthrough. I don't know what I'll do, maybe one or two episodes of it, depending on how things go. But let's go for 300 likes, and we'll do part two. If you guys do enjoy, again, Make sure you give me some comments down below, and make sure you go vote in the straw poll as well. And let's get straight into the cut content. So, my friends, episode four, around every corner. If we remember, around every corner, ended up releasing on October 9th of 2012. So there is a small, if little, amount of cut content in this episode, at least on these notes here. So, in episode four, Ben had the option of killing Fifel via gunshot in an unfinished animation where he stomps on the boy. So Fifel ended up being the little boy uh, that was in the roof, remember, of uh, the building that uh, they had got in because the walkers trapped him in. The Fifel was the boy that either Kenny or Lee could put down. There was actually an option where Ben could kill him via gunshot. Remember, they probably had Ben, Lee, or Kenny could do either one based on your decisions. That's pretty cool. Ben, you know, showing up a little more... Uh, courage i should say or at least a little more intuitive to do things which is actually really cool and again i'll link these notes down below in the description when we'll read them all right he also had an unused wish to die which means he is in ben he asks lee to drop him because he and kenny wants to because he too uh, he too believes that he is quoting this line a f up for everyone there is unused audio where he thanks lee for dropping him before getting devoured by walkers so instead of you know just saying let me go you know i give it up you basically end up dropping him from the bell tower, and he'll end up like saying thank you, Lee. Well, you know that's that that that's a pretty cool that's a pretty cool end up uh, thing happening as a result, um, which is also pretty cool. All right. Also, there is an extra dialogue that went on between Clementine and Lee if he chooses to drop Ben, much to her dismay, as she thought Ben was one of her closest friends and never thought of him only the group. Now. Honestly, she'd asked where Ben is, and you can explain, but she never really went into detail. You know, after you'd said maybe I, you know, a a Ben was a detriment to the group, or we dropped Ben. She never really got into detail, you know, about that. Even though we knew she kind of like she kind of liked Ben as a friend, you know. So that's pretty interesting that she would have been a little more, you know, angry about it. She definitely was already enough, but they definitely wanted to, you know, I guess cut that out. Anna Correa and Dr. Logan had a slightly bigger role via the tapes. Remember the tapes we could find in the pharmacy? There was a, there was the one tape on the doctor. And remember, there's one tape in Logan's locker, which was an Easter egg. Um, so ended up they ended up having a bigger role via this tape. Dr. Logan tried to get Anna Correa out of Crawford, but he was killed in the process, possibly by Oberson. This was scrapped when Molly was implemented. So originally, Molly was not planned in this game. Molly ended up being added in a little later into the game. So, Anna Correa, could have she been playing instead of Molly? Potentially. Potentially. I don't know entirely if that would have been true, but you think about it, man, that would have been pretty crazy. And then, there was a sub-quest where you lead Vernon to the mansion and your group to Crawford via the sewers. That's most likely scrapped due to time constraints. So, remember, when you know, at the, uh, where, uh, where we about to, we threaten Craw, where we threaten, uh, where we threaten Vernon, or we can just say, hey, lead me through the sewers. Actually, you could have ended up playing, doing this, leading through, but they ended up cutting it, which I know I understand, but hell, with all small Telltale's episodes we've gotten now, this would have been nice to have something like this. But that is it for episode four. There are some audio, unused audio files. I'll link those down below in the description if you guys want to go read those. So let's get straight into episode five of No Time Left. Episode five, No Time Left, is our final episode of season one here, and it released November 20th of 2012. Now, in this episode, there is little to none cut content. Now, obviously, we know there's a couple things that have been mentioned, but really in terms of these notes there's not a lot 400 days which will be up next we'll have a a lot a lot so we'll definitely get into that very soon so first 
cut content of episode 5 was there was an unused sequence where Lee and whoever came to find Clementine with him had to navigate through the sewers fighting walkers. Hmm, I like that. That was probably... Hmm, they probably would have had a cut content in episode 4, I would think. You know, because when you think about it, um, they really didn't even need to go through the sewers when episode 5 had started. So maybe they, uh, you know, instead of like maybe some distraction, had started had to go through the rooftops, they go through the sewers instead. So Lee could probably choose this person to come through the sewers. Because we remember episode, episode 4 ended, Lee would take someone, or take, depending on how your choices, would take a couple people to the sewers, or could take go by himself, find out how things had went. This would have been a really cool fight scene. Alright, our second cut content thing would be Lee and his group had 40 bullets to fight the walkers in the mansion, but it was cut down to 11 in the final. Probably for time constraints, because honestly, unlimited ammo. Like, you can tell tale usually, you know, even unlimited ammo, you can just continuously fire your gun now. Makes sense. When confronted with the stranger, Lee had t two unused options to tell about Ben and Lily. Hmm. Okay. This would have been, you know, fairly different. I would have liked to have seen that. If picking Ben, he'd reveal that he'd like Ben. He was a good kid who had seen a lot but still remained positive. I think what uh, Lee meant, I think that's what Lee would say. If picking Ben, yeah. Lee would reveal that he liked Ben, he was a good kid who'd seen a lot, but still remained positive. Okay, I think that's what he means by heed. I don't know, they really don't say who, but I think they mean you know, Lee or Kenny here. And if picking Lily... Oh, oh, in the audio options. Yes, 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 yes. And if picking Lily, he'd reveal that she was a good woman who was a good friend until she lost her father, and resulting in her to kill Doug slash Kari due to paranoia. So either way, uh, Lee will mention them in the good light. And that is really it in terms of the cut content for this. Now obviously there is another cut content scene where Kenny ends up dying, remember? If you remember in episode 5, Kenny ended up dying originally. Um, there is uh, obviously an, a file of this if you want to see on uh, Telltale's Reddit. Uh, I'll link that down below in the description. I'll link the user here that linked this. But yes, Kenny ends up dying originally in the original uh, <clears throat> cut of episode 5. Um, you ended up hearing him like say eh, like you hear him like moaning to his death basically getting the you hear him pretty much getting devoured by walkers which is pretty crazy that uh you know telltale in a matter i think of weeks had decided between keeping kenny and not it w was pretty crazy how you know they decided to keep him all right so that my friends i believe is it for episode five so we're going to go on to 400 days. 400 days ends up being the largest amount of content that we're going to end up having here. So you guys will you guys will go crazy on this. All right, so let's get straight into episode 6, technically DLC 400 days. And our final cut content episode of season 1 is 400 days, which ended up being our DLC. So in 400 days there is a fair amount a lot more than in episode 5 and 4. Pretty much almost combined, there's almost more cut content. So, let's begin. In the beginning, Nate, D, Leland, Stephanie, Wyatt, and Clive had each unused line. Those unused lines will be linked down below in the description if you want to go check them out. Nate has two unused audio clips where he apologized to Walt and Gene in a sincere tone and in a tone that suggests that he was annoyed by this. So remember, Nate, remember the two old people ended up being this Waltz and Gene, remember? Uh, they ended up shooting us, and based on our audio uh, decisions, we either could watch, stay with uh, Nate, and he ends up killing them too, or we can end up leaving, and he'll end up killing them no matter what. So no matter what, he ends up killing them, but in one of the, uh, the cut cons, he'll end up, end up seeing more sincere than just being a complete dickhead, you know? Okay, in an audio clip, Clive asked Roman, she had traveled a lot with you, right? Was she not a bartender? He's unsure whether he was talking about Shell or Stephanie. Also, he asked Roman if Becca knows anything, which is unsure what this time is supposed to be about. Presumably prior to before, Shell had to make a decision to kill Stephanie or drive with the RV. Hmm. So, a little more information about Stephanie and Shell, which, I mean, not bad, not bad. What a nice little, little more info, but, you know, this is really just minor stuff. Uh, Stephanie have lines where it sounds like she is far away. Closer inspection proved that it was retakes of her lines in Bonnie's story, though. 
why this was scrapped is unknown. Huh. Okay. So she had lines which sounds like she's far away, close enough to prove that she had retakes of her lines and Bonnie's. Okay, I don't really, you know, this one's, eh, you know, I don't know why Tall Tales were moving and stuff like this, but you know, that's what it is. Dee and Leland had one last conversation before she died in her arms. In her final, in the final, she is already dead before Leland arrives. So you know, it would have been nice to maybe see, you know, before Dee ended up dying, you know, some final words. Maybe she ends up revealing that Bonnie did it. Cause remember, Bonnie's a snake, and I don't like Bonnie, so that would have been fantastic if, if she would end up telling Bonnie instead of Bonnie being a snake, you know. But it's okay. There is an unused character who is not mentioned anywhere in the five episodes called Nick Stokes. This is a leftover model of Nick's ghost from CSI Fatal Conspiracy. So I actually ended up being one of Telltale's old characters. I don't know why Telltale had him in the files, but he ended up was an old character in one of Telltale's CSI games, which actually was really, really cool. You can look him up. Just look up Nick Stokes. He was actually in the I don't know if he was in the main character, but he was a character in CSI Fatal Conspiracy. Bonnie had another design when her first in-game screenshot was released. Her early looks, face, and clothes are still present in the game file. So if you want to take a look at Bonnie's old look, I guess she looked pretty much different. Um, it'll be probably just look through the game files of Season 1 and that. And, wow, this last one. Becca had Clementine's clothes a bit recolored, presumably a placeholder until her design was finished. Yeah, you can't copy Clem's clothes. Sorry. No, slapped across the face. You can't have Clem's clothes. You know, that's like, what the hell? All right, obviously, guys, I will link all the audio clips as well as the information down below in the description. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. And like I said, again, if we have 300 likes, I will start the season two cut content. But again, this has been episode four, five, and uh, 400 days walk through here guys so thank you all so much for your support i do appreciate you guys are new again smack the like button subscribe and make sure you go vote down below in the description i do appreciate that and i'll see y'all next live stream slash video peace and love